Hi guys, so Thursday morning. Uh, not really done very much so far today. I've just been, um, when I put those supports in yesterday, they're just kind of rough. So I've been going uh, along and just make, driving them into the ground at the bottom as best I can. Put the uh, points on some of them just to get them in it's nice and solid. Uh, so I'm finish that off and then I'm going to um, fix them at the top. And I'm going to go from uh, my non bushcraft approach again and just use cable ties for now just because it's so much quicker and uh, get them really solid. Hopefully come back and replace them with cordage of some kind at a later time. Um, and then after that I've got a, another yet again non bushcraft way that I'm going to do the webbing this time again just for speed really. Um, which I'll explain in a minute but finish off doing these supports and then get, these, get them fixed at the top as well. Okay, that's them all secured really well, solid. Those are good quality those zip ties, those. <coughs> Cable ties if you'd like. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is put um, the webbing, my funky webbing in place. But before I do that, I suddenly remembered I wanted to put this uh, longitudinal um, support along the middle as well. So uh, I didn't film because it was an absolute faff uh, because I had to go behind the, the four big strong ones uh, in between that and the other ones I actually put a bit along the bottom here to, to brace them along the bottom as well just in case they all skipped out as I was forcing that through but I managed to get it in place and I'm quite happy with it miraculously I cut it the exact right length so it actually extends out the other side onto the branch there. So I'm just going to cable tie along here first and then get the webbing in place. Right, so back to the webbing. Um, so um, I was building, well, say you were in a survival situation, obviously you wouldn't have a choice. You'd have to build an all natural shelter, so no cable ties, obviously. Um, for the webbing then you have to use small branches and when I built the shelter before I used small fur branches like thin strips and just weave them in and out of the supports and then that gives you a, a webbing that you can throw leaves at without them falling right through because that's all you really want is just something to stop the leaves falling right through or the debris um, but collecting those branches takes ages putting them, weaving them in and out between the supports takes an absolute age as well so 
I'm going to go for a, a non bushcraft alternative, which is a fruit net, a plastic fruit net. I know, crazy guy, but maybe uh, just use this just now for this year and then maybe next year I'll, I'll put something a bit more realistic in place. Um, but really just for the sake of speed as well, just now I want to get this on, I want to try and get some leaves on this afternoon, although I kind of run out of daylight already and it's only 3 o'clock. So, yeah, just going to put this in place um, and use this this year and then do something else maybe next year. This is huge as well, I might be able to double it up. See how we get on. That's going to do for now. I took longer than I expected, it's a bit of a faff. <coughs> um, I'm thinking I'm going to just concentrate on the side walls actually from now and then tomorrow just uh, spend the whole day tomorrow collecting leaves and throwing them on and hopefully get my bed in position once I go and rescue it. Keep working anyway until the light's totally gone. Well, there's some snow that we had last night. We also had torrential rain and thunder and lightning. Everyone's wrecked. I don't know how my drippers got away out there, but obviously they weren't working very well. I think they must have got blown there. I really need to get the proper <laughs> water stops because basically everyone's soaked. My well, down sleeping bag's wet, it's an absolute nightmare. So I'm thinking I might actually, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I might change my plans slightly and um, just put um, that black tarp, just attach that <coughs> for now, just to, to make the shelter waterproof. And at least it gets a chance to dry out inside. <coughs> um, yeah, because really uh, I can't see me raking up all these leaves today. Might rake up some of them right enough, but maybe have to come back another day and finish off raking up the leaves. There's plenty of them, it's just that they're scattered around and they're sort of in really hard bit to get at places. But. Uh, I'm not on my breakfast yet. I'm not, I actually just crawled out of bed because I hardly slept last night. I had, I had trees crashing down all around me and thunder and lightning. It's mental. Oh. Anyway, get some breakfast on the go and then see how I feel after that. But I'm pretty, I've got a feeling I'm going to call it a day today anyway because everything's soaking wet. It's just, I think it's supposed to get really bad weather again later, so I think it would be sensible just to head home and get a decent night's sleep.
No, I didn't get on very well, putting leaves on. Um, oh, it took me half an hour. You know, I've had uh, a, a, a sort of three hours to play with, and it wasn't pouring down. I almost said something else. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm actually knackered to be honest, so I'm going to call it a day now. Uh, uh, just pack up now and head. Try and pack up in the daylight, it's always a bonus. Plus, everything's soaking wet, so it always takes like ages to do that. Anyway, so until the next time, it's goodbye from him. Um, I need to get back out. The next month now, January, so hopefully, um, I'm a bit annoyed that I've left it so conspicuous with it. without leaves on it, it kind of looks fairly obvious, but. Nobody really walks around here, so I'm pretty sure it's safe. Anyway, the sort of people that walk in this road not, are fairly normal people that wouldn't really do any damage, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, until the next time, I'll see you later.